We were talking about that match at the beginning. Like getting, getting to a thousand points here, you know, new school. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, just, you know, I'm being able to reach any milestone I can get, you know, as a basketball player is awesome. You know, I'm blessed um, with the man above. So I'm um, just hoping we can keep stacking these wins up and um, yeah, we keep going. So that's all. Yeah. And about the crowd and the atmosphere, you know, like you, you guys have heard about it, mm -hmm. but I don't remember it being like this since you guys have been here. What, what, was, that, what was that like? Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, the energy in there was just, you know, just amazing throughout the entire night even from when it was like 55 on the clock and we were down there warming up I see people just ready to go you know cheering um it was awesome I mean it was I hope we can sell out the pit and just you know make it make it like that every time so I know we didn't sell out this night but you know I hope we can get it like that you know in these conference games so we're gonna need them we're gonna need them it's at five of you um in double figures and, and KJ big minutes in the first half I mean 13 points in the first half you, you guys have more than just you know you and Jalen and, and Morris I know that but you guys needed all five of those tonight. Can you talk about the balance and, and how it's a different guy, maybe off the bench every game that does step up for you guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's just the identity of our team, just our next man up, next man up mentality. Um, you know, guys being ready to attack and, you know, trust the work that they put in. You know, KJ comes in, he's a spark plug. I mean, he's, you know, he's been doing that his whole career. So um, I'm not surprised by by him tonight. Um, I, I'm just hoping we can keep it going and keep this energy going for, uh, for uh, Prairie View. How was their press? I mean, I know you guys knew they were going to press. Um, how, how much did the press affect you guys? Um, I mean, I think with any team that they play, it's going to affect them because no team in college really presses like they do and, you know, guards like they do. So um, it was very um, kind of unpredictable because we didn't know if they were going to trap um, when we first got it in. Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. So, um, you know, they're, they're, they're a very uh, unpredictable defensive team. And, I mean, I don't think it threw us off too much, but we were able to figure it out and get the win. How did they compare with St. Mary's and San Francisco? I think um, I think they're right there. I mean, as far as physicality, um, I would say San Fran and St. Mary's are a little bit better um, offensively. But um, both, I mean, both teams, both all three teams are great teams. You know, they're gonna you know be top three or maybe win their conference. So um, this is a great win for us. So, did your dad give you kind of any insight on you know how to go against them? Nah, nah, not really. Mm, he didn't give me nothing. I know we made it all about Patino and Patino, and, and everybody paid attention. Because you guys have been winning, that's part of it, but this Patino Patino matchup was pretty unique. I'm curious as a player how much you guys ever brought it up. I know, I know Richard Patino didn't bring it up to you guys much, but how much did you guys talk about like the uniqueness of this game from the coaching standpoint? Uh, never, honestly. I mean, this was uh, another game just to go get. Um, and we understand, you know, you know, father versus son. But I mean, we, we try to win a basketball game at the end of the day, and, and which is what we did. So um, we never we never talked about that. We kind of just kept it, you know, what the game plan was, what they were going to do defensively, and what we were going to do, and what we could control. You guys are in 11 and 0 right now. You have Prairie View up next before you headed to a pretty good conference mm -hmm. coming up. How do you sometimes playing with teams like that Prairie View? Teams can kind of come out. How do you keep the same energy to not kind of just fall down to their level and kind of just keep this right? Just keep being us. Um, just keep, you know, being who we know who we are, regardless of, you know, when we go in games, we try not to focus on, you know, we focus on the other opponent, but really, you know, the only teams that are going to beat us is our team. You know what I mean? We're going to beat ourselves. So, you know, if we can just not allow that to happen and just we, we still be up for the game and still be in those gaps, still communicate with each other, you know, still just, just taking it as seriously as it is this game, and we, we, you know, we're going to be fine throughout the whole year. So, yeah. Do you deserve a ranking? Uh, if they give us a ranking, I'd be blessed. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't say, I mean, deserve is a little bit of a strong word. I mean, I th we just got to keep going and keep pressing and, um, you know, that, that'll, that'll, come, that'll come later. You know, we, we're not worried about that.